I have pork tenderloin cooked on the Weber kettle, 400 degrees. Look at those medallions, those are amazing. We've got a cream sauce with some Tabasco in there. And we've got some asparagus with some mozzarella cheese on top. I think it's time to pour some of that cream sauce over here and let's dig in. One of the things that I love about pork tenderloin is the fact that for 10, 11 bucks, you can get a twin pack if they're unflavored. I'm just gonna take off some of this fat, a little bit of silver skin. All right, so we're just gonna put these into the cast iron pan, just like that. We're gonna add some EVOO over the top. That's gonna to kind of work as our binder. I do have some EVOO in the bottom of the pan as well. It's gonna work for the binder on the bottom. I'm just gonna use some salt and pepper. Give a flip. Do it again. Now I'm just using kosher salt and pepper, black pepper. And it's about an 80-20 mix. So as you can see, I did take my pork tenderloin out of the pan. And the reason being is I took it out because I want this pan to get hot because I'm gonna use this to sear a pork tenderloin. We're just gonna sear all four sides. All right, it's been about two and a half minutes. Let's just check the sides. Yeah, look at that. Nice. I'm gonna maybe change sides here. This one side over here seems to be a little hotter. Looks good. I'm gonna move this off the side for now. And I'm just gonna kinda let these cook, I don't know, probably for the next 15 minutes or so, but I am gonna cover the Weber kettle. First thing first though, Take the pan off and just kind of put these right here. Let's let them cook away for about 15 minutes. We're going to make some asparagus for this dish. And the easiest way, I think, to kind of determine where your asparagus is going to break, right there. So just kind of go through these and look at them. And it's all kind of in the, you know, the same kind of relevant area. So I think we're okay if we line these up. Give it a nice hack, boom, we're good. Take a pan, asparagus in, put a little EVOO onto it. Put some of our salt and pepper blend on it. Mix it up real good. Do it again. Awesome. I think these are ready to go down onto the kettle. With the kettle cooking at about 400 degrees, I'm gonna put our asparagus down. I just want our asparagus to kind of start heating up a little bit before we put the power to it. After 10 minutes, I'm just gonna move these to the side. And I'm gonna put our asparagus directly over those hot coals. Move these in there. Our asparagus is cooking away. It's getting real tender. So I'm gonna put some mozzarella cheese over this. You could use uh, whatever cheese you want, but let that melt down just for a moment. All right, shank it. Now here's our pan right here that had all of our flan in it or flan, whatever you wanna call it. And that's just that drippings, the goodness that resides in there. Starts with about a cup. Heavy whipping cream. And I'm gonna put in some sriracha sauce. Not a heck of a lot. A couple tablespoons. Stir it all together. Now the key to this is getting all that flan off the bottom. Because like I said earlier, that's just flavor. You can see it kind of gives a little bit of resistance. That's all right. Sometimes good flavor is worth it, right? 
gonna put some salt and pepper in here. Just taste, whatever that means. Give it a nice stir. I'm gonna put some tarragon in here. That's just tarragon, it's just aromatic, right? Is that a word? And some organic basil. And the only reason why I'm going with the dried is because it's just not that time of year yet. All right. I want to kind of let it just cook down a little bit. Our tenderloin off. It's starting to bubble there on the side. Awesome. All right, I'll see you when this is done. So our pork tenderloin has had time to rest. I just want to kind of cut into this, see where we're at. Look at that. Holy cow. Freaking awesome. Hot though too. I mean, this has been resting for about 10 minutes. I'm just gonna cut these up into little medallions. Boy, this would make a great sandwich, you know? That's what I should make next time. Awesome, I'm gonna finish cooking these up while our sauce finishes, and let's, let's eat. All right, this is what we got so far. I've got some pork tenderloin, which I cut into medallions. I got some of that beautiful asparagus topped with mozzarella cheese, salt and pepper. And then I do have a creamy, I don't know, it's like a tarragon, parsley, mustard sauce almost, but we use Tabasco. Mmm, yeah, that's the good stuff. Take some of that cream sauce, pour it over the top. Oh, definitely gonna need some more. This stuff rocks. Had a sample of it just a moment ago, but look at that. That asparagus. Seriously, this is what it's all about, right there. All right, I'm looking at this, going, hmm, boy, everything is just calling my name. That asparagus, mm. perfect. All it is, cooked over the Weber kettle, that cast iron pan. You don't have to you cook this over a stove or an oven, whatever. Oh, with some salt and some cheese, that's it. This, though, I'm looking forward to eating. Like this little medallion, this, this pork tenderloin medallion with that cream sauce. Oh, shut the front door. I'm out of here. That's freaking awesome, man. Mm. Cooked to 140 degrees, 145 right in there, which is just about perfect. But that cream sauce, mm. you know? And you could put more cream sauce on it if you want. Oh, cream sauce is a bomb. You saw how we made it too. All right, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please remember to like, subscribe, comment, and about it. We have, we have memberships now, $1.99, get you to hang out with the dude. Remember the dude abides with some good grub. We'll see you next time, guys. Take care, bye. If you're like me, you're always looking for something out there that's affordable, but tastes amazing. And I'm telling you, pork tenderloin is just that good. I cooked this over the Weber kettle, charcoal of course. We got a sauce, a cream sauce that goes over it with some asparagus. I think it's time to try it. I think you're gonna like it. This has heaven written all over it. From the asparagus, that cream sauce, that medallion with the cream sauce. Let's try it. I have pork tenderloin cooked on the Weber kettle, 400 degrees. Look at those medallions, those are amazing. We've got a cream sauce with some Tabasco in there. And we've got some asparagus with some mozzarella cheese on top. I think it's time to pour some of that cream sauce over here and let's dig in.